And as we first reported, Lynn Redford even helped organize an annual Tory barbecue. Well, as you can imagine, today a lot of reaction from the public and calls for transparency from the political opposition. For reaction to this exclusive story, Derek Fildebrandt joins us on set now. Fildebrandt heads up the Canadian Taxpayers Federation here in Alberta. Let me start off by saying thanks for being here on a day when I think your phone is probably ringing off the hook. Right? Oh, it's a pleasure to be on the show. Thank you. Well, I know that under, under Alberta law, it is illegal for publicly funded institutions like the Calgary Health Region to be making political donations. So what's your take on this? Yeah, it's very clearly Ill illegal. It's a total ripoff of taxpayers. We only know this, though, not because the government came clean, but because of the CBC's Charles Rusnell's great investigative journalism that really dug into the story and found out what happened here. Uh, what we've seen here is... Um, the government did not come clean on this. It, uh, you know, it was really Charles Russ now who brought it out. Well, recently we learned also, and this isn't the first time we heard that a current AHS president uh, expensed the cost of attending a premier's dinner mm -hmm. f uh, fundraiser here in Calgary. So what does that say about public funds going to the Tory party? Well, there's, there's two elements here. One, the government has not been forthcoming on letting us know what donations were illegal to the Tory party made during the last election. Elections Alberta knows that there were quite a few made from uh, publicly funded, uh, taxpayer funded public institutions to the Tory party, but the government won't tell us uh, who made those donations. And uh, second of all, this says that the political wing of government and the public service in this province are far too close. That's what you get inevitably with 42 years of Tory rule, of any party's rule. Uh, eventually, the political wing and the, and the bureaucrats are just going to meld into one, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. So, Derek, what do you want to see happen from here? I mean, Lynn Redford, the Premier's sister, is now Vice President of Special Projects for Alberta Health Services. Now, what do you want to see the government do with this situation? Uh, first of all, we need to see retroactive change to the legislation so that elections Alberta is required uh, to provide the names and the amounts of illegal donations uh, from, public, from taxpayer funded organizations to political parties, most of which went to the Tories, but perhaps other parties as well. Uh, number two, we need uh, the Premier to order her sister to pay back this money. It's theft from taxpayers. And number three, we need an apology from, uh, from Lynn Redford. All right. Thank you very much, Derek. We appreciate it. Thanks. Why do I support the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Because families deserve a break. Because someone has to keep our politicians honest. Because honesty and hard work should be rewarded, not punished. Alone, my voice may not be heard. But together, our voices can't be ignored. 